Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Matthew chapter 28, 6 and following. He is not here. He has risen just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The angel and Jesus had a similar conversation with the, the women at the tomb. As we concluded last time, the women were given a clear mandate to, to go. They were to be on a mission. But first, they were invited to see for themselves the empty grave and the empty space previously occupied by our Lord. Then they were instructed to go quickly, quickly, and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of them into Galilee. There you will see him. The angels concluded, now... I have told you. In obedience to the angelic messenger, the women went with conviction and confidence in the fact of the resurrection. They, they hurried off to tell the disciples. Though afraid, they were filled with joy as they went to tell the disciples. Now, as they went on their mission with the mandate that they were given and the message that they were given they met the Lord Jesus Christ who confirmed the angelic message to them notice however that Jesus's instructions are a little just slightly different from the angels instructions yes he says to them go but then look at the verse 10 with me he says tell my brothers to go to Galilee. The message Jesus gave the women varies slightly, we said, differently. Look at the difference. The message from the angels was to go tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of them into Galilee. Jesus says, go tell my brothers to go to Galilee. You see, the angels had said, the angel had said to them, He is not here, he has risen, just as he said. And he had invited them to look at the place where he lay. But Jesus said to them, Go tell them to meet me. The angels in the angel invited the women to see this spot. But he told them that Jesus is risen and is going ahead of them to Galilee, just like he said. Just as he said is an, is an intimation of the word of God repeatedly announced to the disciples by our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus therefore simply needed to say to them, go to Galilee as per my instruction that for the disciples would mean that he has risen from the dead indeed in addition our lord speaks of them as my brothers oh the affection and intimacy of this phrase this phrase is loaded with affection and intimacy loved ones do you understand the closeness the intimacy that we have with the risen Lord today Jesus says go tell my brothers 
Are you confident in the message of the gospel? Are you confident in the word of God? Or do you struggle with uncertainty? I pray that today you will appreciate the intimacy we have with the risen Lord. And, and, and the urgency of the message of the resurrection. I pray that you will run with the message of the resurrected Lord and the power of the cross of Jesus Christ like never before. The angel said to the women, go quickly. And the text tells us that the women rushed off. They hurried. They understood the urgency of the message. I pray that you will live out the resurrected life as, as, as you relate to others today so that they may see the life of the risen Savior through your life. I pray that, especially at this time, such a critical moment when we struggle with the definition of what Christian gathering and Christian fellowship should look like. I pray that we, we will invite others to meet the risen Lord where he is, to find him in his word despite the challenges involved. I pray that today will be a day of reflection for you on the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, the mission, the mandate, and the message that is that are associated with this. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422. Should you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. I want to remind you of my recent book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership. It is now available on Amazon in the Kindle form and the hard copy. You may support this ministry by securing your copy today and one for a friend or several copies for the leaders in your sphere. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.